What was your understanding of why you were going to the apartment? I didn't know, to be honest. I just went to stop by and say hi. I didn't think it was a huge deal. Do you see on your calendar any indication of meeting with Harvey Weinstein on that day? Yes. So at the bottom of the 10th of July, it says HW. That would have been it. Do you recall where his apartment was located? It was in Soho. How did you get there? He sent a driver to pick me up. Do you recall around when you went? I believe it was early evening or late afternoon. Do you recall what the lighting was like when you went to the apartment? I recall it being light outside. What about when you left the apartment? Do you recall what the lighting was like when you left the apartment later that day? I recall it being at least dusk. Describe what happened when you arrived at the apartment with his driver. So we arrived at the apartment and he, the driver, took me upstairs in an elevator. An elevator that went straight into the apartment or the loft. And once upstairs, Harvey was there and greeted me and the driver left. Was there anybody else in the apartment besides the defendant who got you in? No. When, when you got in? No. Do you recall how the defendant was dressed? I have a recollection of him wearing just a casual kind of shirt, maybe perhaps white or light colored shirt and trousers. Describe his physicality at that point. Well, it was the same. He was a large man, and yeah. Were you approximately the same height and weight as you were in Khan? Yes. Do you recall how you were dressed? I don't. Describe the defendant's demeanor when you arrived at the apartment. He was friendly, normal. He greeted me. And what happened? He greeted me, invited me in, asked me if I wanted anything to drink, and I believe the television was on and we were just having a normal exchange and sat down on the sofa. Did you get anything to drink? I don't remember. And where were you seated on the sofa? Just on the sofa, on the side, and he was on the other side. And so what was the distance between he and you at that point? Mm, a couple of feet. What was that? A couple of feet, maybe, two or three. Describe what happened next. We were having a normal conversation. The television was on. We were sort of watching it a little bit, half in between the conversations. And then at some point, fairly soon into me being there, he came towards me, lunged at me, sort of trying to kiss me. Up to the point where he lunged at you, had you had any conversations of a sexual nature? No. Any conversations of a romantic nature? No. I, he would say things, yes. At the point in the apartment while you were sitting on the couch having a conversation? No. Did you have, did that conversation involve anything of a sexual nature? No. Did that conversation involve anything of a romantic nature? No. I mean, I don't recall that. So then describe what happened at the point he lunges at you. Well, I got up from the sofa and I said, oh, no, 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 no. I just kind of tried to reject him and push him away. And he would just pull me back and keep kissing and fondling me. And I got up and I tried to walk away from him, but he pulled me towards him and he was sort of walking towards me and I was walking backwards trying to get away, but he would just come at me. What happened next? So as I'm trying to get away from him, he just insists and pulls me towards him while sort of walking into me. And he, I walked backwards. He kind of led me. It's hard to explain. He was coming towards me physically and I was backed into the bedroom that was on the corner of that open space area through the door. What happened next? And he, I walked backwards because he was pushing me with his body until I got to the bed. And I fell backwards onto the bed and I tried to get up and he pushed me down. What happened next? I had expressed during this entire time that I didn't want to have any, like, like any, I just said, no, like, no, no, I don't want this to happen. This is not going to happen. I'm on my period is what I said next, as well as like, that's not what it was going to happen. I was just trying to tell him everything to make him stop. Were you actually on your period? I was. Continue. And so I tried to reject him. I mean, I did reject him, but he insisted. And every time I tried to get up off the bed, he would push me back and hold me down with his arms. Sorry. Take a break if you need it. You can have a sip of water. Whenever you are ready to continue. Sorry. I think you were at the point where you were trying to get up from the bed. Correct. Yeah. He pushed me down. He held me down by my arms and, no, stay, like that. And I said, no, no. 
And at that point started realizing what was actually happening and I'm being raped. Do you remember sort of what was going through your mind at that point? Yes. Can you describe it? To some degree, I, I mean... Could you describe what you remember for the jury? When I realized what was actually happening, I started weighing up my options in my head, and I thought, okay, I'm not able to get away from him physically. So I thought, I thought if I escalate this, if I scream rape, will someone hear me? If I start kicking even harder, will I have a chance to get away from him? And will I actually get, will I be able to get to the elevator, wait for the elevator, down the elevator, out onto the street without him catching me? And if I do get all the way downstairs as a driver in on it, will he be there standing guard ready to scoop me up if I get that far? And I couldn't get away from him at all, and let alone get out of that apartment. So ultimately, after a while, I just checked out and decided to endure it. And that was the safest thing for me to do at that point. What happened next? He held me down on the, on the bed, and he forced himself on me orally. I was on my period. I, I had a tampon in there. I mean, it was... Ugh. I was mortified. So what did he do? He forced himself on me orally. He put his mouth on my vagina. And what, if anything, did you say or do at that point? I was just crying. No. Did he do anything else at that point? I kept trying to, to tell him, no, don't go there. Don't do that. I said I'm on my period. I have a tampon in there, and it was as if, as if he didn't believe me. Objection. Overruled. And something like that will... Where is it then? Like that. And he literally pulled my tampon out. Did he continue placing his mouth on your vagina after that? Yes, but I don't really... Honestly, I was in so much shock at the time. I think I just checked out. What is the next thing that you remember happening? At that point, I don't remember much except when I left the apartment. I remember walking out of the building and looking to see if the driver was there the way I thought. Do you remember the defendant saying anything at that point after he made the comment about the tampon? No. When you got downstairs, did you see the driver? No. What did you do? I just went home. But I felt relieved that I did not see the driver because a part of me was like, maybe it's not that organized, maybe he's not that crazy, maybe... Speculation. Objection. Overruled. There was a part of me, for some reason, at that moment, felt relief. I had not seen the driver, at least. Do you remember how you got home? I guess I had to walk home. I'm going to show you what is in evidence as People's Exhibit 75. Did you view this floor plan prior to testifying? I did. Did you recognize some of the areas depicted in the floor plan? I'm sorry. Did you recognize some of the areas or the layout of that floor plan? I did. Does that fairly and accurately depict what the areas of the apartment look like or set up like when you were in it on July 10, 2006? I believe so, yes. And with the court's permission, I ask the witness approach the exhibit? Sure. If you could point out for the jury where the elevator is located on the floor plan there. Oh. It looks like it's here. And that elevator, did that open up into a hallway or did that open up directly into the apartment? As I remember, it was directly into the apartment. 